Hey everyone. Welcome to the psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about essential aspects of knowledge paradigm. The term paradigm originated from the Greek word paradigma which means pattern and this was first used by Thomas Kuhn. The three major important components of knowledge paradigm are ontology, epistemology and methodology. When you do a research, you would need to define your world views and perspectives in terms of your research. This is known as your research philosophy and it is done through your ontology and epistemology. Ontology is associated with positivism and quantitative research and epistemology is associated with interpretivism and qualitative research. Ontology is about how we view the world. Ontology is an area of philosophy that deals with the nature of being or what exists. It is concerned with reality and is often presented with questions such as what is the meaning of being or what can be said to exist. There are two dominant positions within ontology. They are realism and nominalism. In realism, the researcher views the world as existing separately from humans and their interpretations of it. In nominalism, the researcher believes that their interpretations of the world are based on their inner subjectivity and the personal lens through which they are viewing. Epistemology is also an area of philosophy that is concerned with the creation of knowledge and focusing on how knowledge is obtained and investigating the most valid ways to reach the truth. Epistemology determines the relationship between the researcher and reality and is rooted in the ontological assumptions. There are three significant branches within epistemology. They are empiricism, rationalism and transcendental philosophy. In empiricism, the object of study is recorded by the brain but is not produced by the brain. This image is then associated with similar objects, thus requiring the use of a concept. This process is formed through a logical process known as induction. In rationalism, logical reasoning is the active producer of concepts out of nothing and therefore requiring a deductive logical reasoning process. In Transcendental philosophy, concepts are formed in one's consciousness through a combination of previously existing empty templates of reason and the raw material of the object under study. Templates of reason and the data acquired from the human senses change and develop continuously. To put in simple words, Ontology is about how we view the world and epistemology is about how we should investigate the world. Ontology is the branch of philosophy that deals with the trivial issue of the nature of reality. Epistemology is the branch of philosophy that deals with the nature of knowledge and is therefore central to any research claims to contribute new knowledge. Methodology is a broad term which refers to the research, design, methods, approaches and procedures used in an investigation to find out something. 
the difference between methodology and methods are methodology is about how we should collect data and methods is about the details of exactly how we collect the data simply put ontology relates to the assumptions we make about the nature of reality epistemology sets out beliefs about how one might discover knowledge about that reality and methodology specifies the tools and techniques that we use in the conduct of our research in the next video let's talk about paradigms of western psychology i hope you like this video please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam thank you